Hello and welcome back, my name's Alicia and this is Project Vegan. So let's get back and the Kitchen Diary series. <laughs> So the plan for today is to, yet again, attempt a cheesecake. Um, I'm going to be using biscuits that I made this week on the channel. It is a very simple vegan recipe. And they're just like firm cookies. They break and they snap and they're really good. I think I measured out 200 grams of biscuits and I'm gonna pulse them up with some butter. I think I'm going to start with 100 grams of butter. That might be a bit much, but we'll add it in slowly. That's 100. I'm going to melt it completely in the microwave. While that's melting and I'm keeping an eye on it, I'm going to blitz up all the crackers. I'm pretty happy with how those have turned out. These are nice and fine, and the butter is all melted. I'm just gonna weigh this first so I can tell you how much I use. It's 130, okay. There's still some lumps in here, but that's all right. I'm gonna add all of this in, and slowly add this. Start with about half for now. decided on what flavor filling I want to do yet like uh, I'm gonna have to make up my mind soon but I just don't know like do I want to do a fruity one again do I want to do caramel because it's caramel week on the Great British Bake Off if you guys didn't know I don't follow the Great British Bake Off but fun fact for you I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Also, just a quick pointer when you're adding butter to stuff, the, like I could use it as it is now, but the more butter you add, the firmer it will go. So. Hi, very happy with that. And now I'm going to put it into my two cheesecakes. I'm thinking maybe I do, I don't wanna make two batters though. Probably just do fruit. Yeah, half this. If you can't already tell from all my previous content making these mini cakes, I am in love with the mini cakes. They're just so perfect. Like, I could make two cakes out of batter and then I get two flavors instead of one. I'm just going to use my hands. Excuse my fingers. My favorite passion, uh, cheesecake flavor is passion fruit. What's yours? 
also once these are all pushed in like this i'm going to chuck them in the i'm actually going to chuck them in the freezer so that I, it speeds up or you can chuck them in the fridge fast now mm. and i only used 80 100 oh i only used 50 grams of butter should we try it It's very sweet, but it's good. Alright, next up, I'm going to be adding in some tofu. Brand new packet. I think I'm going to go with a small amount. So 100 grams, 150 grams. Here. Yeah. Alright, 120 grams. I'm just going to use 120 grams. 120 grams. And I'm just going to blend that up. I think I am going to do caramel. Oh, I really don't know. Alright. Got my tofu blended up. And now. See, now I need to make up my mind. <laughs> um, I don't know. See, my issue is I want to do two flavours, but I can't do caramel and berry because... Oh, we're going to give caramel and berry a go, actually. I'm gonna add coconut cream to a pot. I'm gonna do this whole can. This can is 270 mils and it is rather runny, but that is okay. Hopefully the water will boil off. Ooh, what if I had coconut rough? That'd be cool. I'm going to let my coconut cream boil. And then we're going to add in agar agar. And then it will be time to split it up, I think. Mm. It's decided, by the way. One's poison brew, one's caramel. Right, so my coconut cream in here is starting to get quite warm, starting to boil a little bit. So, it's going to measure out my agaga. teaspoon. Put that in there and mix it through. That might have been a bit much, but that's all right. So this time I'm going to activate the agar agar by boiling it for five minutes until it's completely dissolved. That's the step. I did not do last time. I didn't realize the agar agar was like boiling or heat activated. So here we are trying this again and doing it the right way. Hopefully. <laughs> I just tried to thaw these frozen boysenberries in the microwave a little bit and I'm going to mash them up. So I lost a clip or I ran out of storage to finish filming the clip but what happened after this point was that mixture I let it boil for a tiny bit longer added in the tofu and 
poured that into one of my bases I'd prepared earlier and then swirled the boysenberries on top. Then the remaining half I put back on the heat and I added in about a tablespoon or so of golden syrup, which I know you don't have in America, but you can also just brown a little bit of sugar and it'll do the same thing. I also added a tiny bit of caramel syrup I had left over around the house. I then let that boil off a little bit more because it went a bit runny and chucked that into the other mold. And then I, yeah, then I explain the rest of it in the next clip. Okay, so I ran out of storage halfway through filming, but you get the gist of it. Just double checking, you get the gist of it. Anyway, I will show you what I ended up doing. This is the boysenberry one. I went with plain filling with boysenberry, and then I'm attempting to do a caramel one. This one's still hot. This one's cooling down a little bit. I'm gonna chuck them in the fridge overnight, and I'll come back to you tomorrow with the results. Okay, so I thought the cheesecakes weren't going to be ready till tomorrow, but I just had a quick look at them and they look fairly ready, so we're going to do more of them. And two little cheesecakes. In theory, the berry one should be ready first because that's the one I did first, so we're going to start with that one. Oh, wow. Okay. What do we think? I think it's gone a little bit too firm. Probably a little bit much egg egg. But oops, 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 oops. do I cut it or do I just place it? Mm. What if I decide I want to move it though? No, nope, straight on the plate for this. Okay. I can feel that there's too much butter in my base, so. So, let's butter in with the cookies. It's a good learning curve. And we'll try for the caramel now. like a jelly but it tastes good and caramel and just like that I have two cheesecakes much more of a success than last time and I probably should top this one with like caramel drizzle or maple syrup or something but I know it probably won't be eaten until later, so I'm going to leave it and then people can top it when, as they want it. But I'm going to photograph these, so if you want to see the final image, do check out my Instagram. I will link the recipe down below if you want to follow it. It's a very good recipe. These are solid cakes, but I think we can make them better. So we'll probably have one more attempt at this and then they should be absolutely mint by then. But until then, I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you have learned how to make a cheesecake with Aga Aga. And I hope you learned something. I learned about the activation thing. And it definitely works because these are beyond solid. <laughs> I think a little bit less might be a bit better for next time. But I will definitely try a piece later on. Um, yeah, but I'm going to photograph these. Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Please consider subscribing, hit that like button, comment, comment down below which flavor I should do because I struggled so much to pick a flavor. Do you have a flavor, favorite flavor of cheesecake? We didn't have any passion fruit, so I can do passion fruit, but I will be doing something.